Hello everyone, BNSS 6951 here with a layout overview for all my new subscribers. Um, I like for them to catch up to where we're at and so we're going to be doing a, a three part video here. First part is going to be the overview. The second part is going to be the uh, updates that I did and the third part is going to be a test run. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Anyhow, we're going to start with the track plan. I am modeling BNSF's P-Vine Sub from Phoenix to S Fork, Arizona. Uh, the section I'll be showing you today will be Mobes Yard and the surrounding industries. Um, this is going to be a two-room layout right there in the center if you can see it it says through the wall and on the other side when I get to it we'll have some more industries which will be actually Glendale Arizona and there'll be a helix right there that will go up to the upper section which is here the upper section will have a couple of industries in Peoria Arizona and Waddell, Arizona. And as we go further, we will be going across the Hacienda River, go back through the wall again, we will hit Hell's Canyon, and then finally Ash Fork, Arizona. And I'll be right back to show you the layout. Okay, I'm back again. And first off, I'd like to let all my new subscribers know that mostly all the buildings on this layout are scratch built by me. Um, the one we're looking at right now is called Smith Pipe and Steel. It's directly across the street from Mobes Yard. Um, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of detail in there. Um, I know you can't see it that well, but trust me, it's there. Okay, now we're going to move on down. And another structure is sand plumbing supply that happens to be a Rick's product there's very few bought products on this layout and we got Mobes Yard comes all the way down to here and then goes off to the rest of the layout the industries that are here are Atlas Wholesale Flooring Spalding Salt, that's the one I couldn't figure out the name, I finally got the name for that. And then we have Paramount Petroleum. And further down the line, we have Phoenix Cement. And I'm going to build an extension table here from that wall to that wall. And that will be the home of Flex Foam. I want, want you all to know that there are 50 tanks, silos, and storage vessels on my layout. These are all made by Elvin Howland of Layout Concepts. So if you guys need any tanks, give them a shout. Anyhow, we move on further down the line. Now, these are all prototypical buildings built to best my knowledge that I could. This one here is called Mariani Distributing. They uh, do sugar products. And uh, they do what they got to do in the building and they send, send them out by tanker trucks. Uh, they told me, I did a personal tour at this place and they told me that they load up 30 tankers a day for deliveries. And right next door, or actually a couple of doors down, you'll find Western Refining. Western Refining has a bunch of tanks as you can see. That will be a warehouse. Um, I don't have any details in it yet, but it will be loaded with uh, oil drums. And these three tanks all by themselves will be the tanker truck loading facility. Alright, and the building is fairly large as you can see. And so the next building we go to will be 
Arizona Pacific Paper Recycling. Now I built this building a while ago, but um, unfortunately it's no longer prototypical. And the reason why it's no, not prototypical is because about a month ago it burned down to the ground. Anyhow, that's it for that place. So I'm just going to keep it the way it is and just mess with it. So now we can go to the upper level. The upper level will be mostly scenery and the part we're looking at now would be on the upper right corner. That will be Hell's Canyon and we'll continue around here and finally we will meet and arrive at Ash Fork, Arizona. Still lots of work to be done but time is time. Anyhow, um, I'll be back in a little bit to give you a little switching operations. Talk to you later. Bye. Okay, first update. I um, finally got my Digitrax hooked up and we're uh, running DCC now. Second thing is on that last video that I did with uh, uh, operations number two, I decided to go with that track plan and uh, did a little more modification to it. Anyhow, as you can see, I, I did uh, the uh, ground throws and modification I did was I added one more service track and made only one track for Phoenix Cement because in prototype that's all it actually is. Um, so without further ado, we're going to do a little switching operations. And we have a pair of Jeep 38s that are going to switch out six cars, pick up, and set outs. And uh, we'll have that in a minute or two.